Minnesota's Mighty Ducks are back. Disney Plus dropped the trailer this past Friday and will debut the reboot of the famous 1992 movie March 26th. The series is set in Minnesota. The movie was actually shot here. And Boyd Hoopert had the chance to meet up with the original actors in that movie when they reunited in the state of hockey a while, ba a while back before COVID. Turns out 30 years later, they are still proud ducks. When we last met in person for a state high school hockey tourney, ah! EP, baby, EP. the usual jerseys were present. Yeah! That one and this one. <laughs> and without fail, Charlie Conway. the jersey representing Minnesota's best known ah! Ah! youth hockey team. Ah! This 30th anniversary of the filming of Mighty Ducks, the puck hasn't stopped. Not here. Nick, nice to meet you. I'm Matt. One time child stars back in town. Yep. Averman. Pre-COVID restrictions. And what's your name? For an autograph session. I'm Matt Doherty. I played Averman. Hum, golly, golly, hum, golly, golly. And I'm Jane Plank. I played Tammy Duncan. What do I know about hockey? My name is Garrett Henson, and uh, I played Guy Germain. Soft hands for me. And I'm Danny Tamborelli, and I played Tommy Duncan. You want me to figure Steve, and you got to play hockey. I had not played hockey when I got the film. Yeah, um, neither did I. Few of the young actors had before shooting started in the Twin Cities in the fall of 1991. They really suck. Yeah, they sent us to a hockey, a hockey camp for like four weeks and this crash course every day we were skating. I was maybe born in ice skates. Jane so. Plank, the exception. <laughs> I grew up in Golden Valley, so I was the only one on the team from Minnesota. Right, just think of it as figure skating with a stick. All recall vividly Minnesota's 91 Halloween blizzard. Like as a nine, 10 year old kid from New Jersey, I was just like, how do people do this? Yeah, I was coming from California, so I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know the cold could hurt. While none envisioned what their Minnesota made film would become. I don't know what you're doing. I don't think we knew we were making Mighty Ducks. It was like, they're giving me a breakfast burrito, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yet three decades that. later. And what's your name? Here they are. At least 500 times I've seen the movie. I'm excited. Super geeking out a little bit. Amber Andrus can tell you every shooting location. <laughs> Mickey's Diner. This is it, right here. New Hope's Ice Arena. <laughs> Mall of America. For me, it's a lot of folks that you know represent kids like me when I was growing up in Minnesota. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany, Matt, nice to meet you. There's a certain age group. I would say the 25 to 40 mm -hmm. crowd were the most like, oh. Muddy Ducks, quack, quack, quack. But the Ducks are also transitioning to a second generation. You all know Adam Banks? Is he really the real Adam Banks? Ethan Comer couldn't believe who he was seeing. From the real Mighty Ducks movie. Across the table. It's been a couple years, I'm getting old. Actor Vincent LaRusso <laughs> isn't surprised that a ragtag team of skaters turned champs still captivates. I think underdog stories endure. Two sequels followed, after which several of the actors continued skating on their own. I loved it, yeah. I loved it. It became my sport. Exactly right. I play beer league hockey uh, on Wednesday nights with my guys, and, and like the only reason I'm on the team is because I'm a duck. <laughs> Grown, but still ducks. Thank you so much. To fans, quack. still quack. flocking. Quack. 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 quack, quack, I believe that really is Adam Banks. Boyden, Carol Evan News, St. Paul. Quack, 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 quack. quack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the three Mighty Duck uh, films earned a combined $119 million at the box office and inspired the name, as you may know, of the real NHL franchise, the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, which are now simply known as the Ducks. <laughs> I believe it might be the real Belinda Jensen in the backyard. Yes. <laughs> How cute is that kid? Have people been lying to that child? He's very skeptical <laughs> for such a young man. <laughs> Oh, it's so fun to see them. I can't wait to actually see the reboot. I think that's uh, obviously a great idea. I can't believe it's been 30 years because I Clear. just arrived here back from Salt Lake City when they started filming that. And they sent me up to do a story in White Bear Lake. And then I ended up being an extra. But I think I was cut. I think I was on the floor there because uh, but a lot of people were extras as well that filled those stadiums and such. So kind of fun stuff.